so we can cancel the out too. So the final answer should be 2 over 3D. Okay? So just to simplify the answer by finding the common factor of the numerator and the denominator. Another example. We have x over x squared minus 4 and 2 over x squared minus 4. So as you can see, so we have the same denominator once again as x squared minus 4. So since the operation is addition, so we have now to add the, the numerator. So we have x plus 2. Okay? So x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. Now, look at the denominator. So the denominator is factorable. That is the difference of two squares. So the factors are x plus 2 and x minus 2. So we can cancel out now the x plus 2 in the numerator and the denominator. So after canceling it, so we have now 1 over x minus 2. Okay? So may natira pa rin 1 dun sa ating numerator. So therefore, this is now the final answer. Another example. So, simplify negative 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 4 minus negative 3x minus 1 over x squared minus 4. Okay? So, it is simply because, uh, simple because the denominator is the same. Okay, so similar fractions once again. So, get the copy the denominator. So, we have now x squared minus 4 as the denominator. And then, after that, so we have now, uh, it will become, since it is minus, so, so our subtraction, so what, uh, as you can see, in our properties of uh, operation in the integers, the subtraction will be changed then proceed to addition. So we have now net positive 3x plus 1. Okay? So positive 3x plus 1. And then combine to negative 2x, we have now positive x. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have now x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. Okay? Then cancel out a little yung x uh, plus 2 Okay, get the factors of x squared minus 4. So we have now 1 over x minus 2. Another one. This time, it is uh, the dissimilar fractions. So as you can see, the denominator is not the same. So dissimilar sila. Okay, so get the LCD. So therefore, the, the LCD is n plus 4 and m minus 1. Okay? So this is now the LCD, the least common denominator. And then the LCD divided by m plus 4 here, okay, times 3, so a matitira ay m minus 1, times 3, so we have now 3 times m minus 1. Okay? And then the LCD, m plus 4 times m minus 1 divided by m minus 1. So, cancel out yung m minus 1. Ano matitira? m plus 4. So, we have now 2m times m minus 1. Okay? Then, perform the indicated operation, distributed property. So, we have now 3m minus 3 plus 2m squared minus 2m. Okay? So, we have now 2m squared, then positive m. Bakit siya naging positive m? That is because 3m minus 2m is 
positive n or plus n then minus 3 okay now so do we have uh, the factors of 2m square plus m minus 3 so as you can see it is factorable so the factors are 2m plus 3 and m minus 1 okay so factor only natin to so makakansal din ngayon yung m minus 1 so therefore the sum in its lowest term is 2m plus 3 over m plus 4 okay Yan. Okay, so that's all for our um, addition and subtraction. So at uh, this time, I will give you another example before we proceed to multiplication and uh, division. Okay. Okay, so this time, let's say we have, uh, okay, so simulan natin sa uh, dissimilar fractions. So under the dissimilar fraction, for example, uh, we have uh, 3 over x plus 1 plus 4 over x. Okay, dissimilar fraction siya. Okay. So, get the LCD. What is the LCD? Or the least common denominator. So, the LCD is x times x plus 1. Okay? Then, the LCD divided by x plus 1, we have, we can cancel now x. Diba? Or x plus 1. So, ano na lang matitira? Yung 3. So, therefore, we have 3x plus we have the LCD divided by x. Ano makakansal na yung x, di ba? So, x plus 1 na lang. So, we have 4 times x plus 1. Okay? So, yun na lang siya. And then, after that, we have 3x plus 4x plus 4. Distributive property. Diba? So, 4 times x, we have 4x. 4 times 1, we have 4. All over x times x plus 1. Okay? Then, combine similar terms. Anong pwede natin makombine? Yung 3x at saka yung 4x. So, that will become 7x. Okay? So, 7x plus 4 over, i-distribute na natin siya in simplest form. We have now x squared plus x. Okay? So, that is uh, another example. Another example. Let's say we have number 2 example. Let's say we have x plus 8 over x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then plus 3x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Kapag ganyan ang given class, okay, kailangan muna natin ipaktor yung ating denominator. So, we have now x plus 8 over anong factors na natin x square minus 4x plus 4. So, the factors are x minus 2 and x minus 2 or the square of a binomial x minus 2. To check, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 added to negative 2 is 
negative but 4. So, this time, so ito na yung ating factors. Plus, 3x minus 2 over x minus 2 and x plus 2. Sum or difference of 2 squares. So, therefore, the factors are the sum and difference of 2 terms. Okay? So, yan. So, ngayon, ano ang ating magiging LCD? Okay, so let us always send the number back. So, ang ating LCD na yun ay madali natin makikita kapag na-factor na natin siya, di ba? Yung ating trinomial. So, the LCD will be So, gawin tayo ng mahabang fraction bar. Get the LCD. X minus 2, X minus 2, and X plus 2. Okay? Ngayon, LCD, the LCD divided by X minus 2 and X minus 2. So, makakancel yung dalawang X minus 2. Diba? Makakancel. So, ano na lang matitira? X plus 2. So, therefore, we have now X plus 8 times X plus 2. Okay? X plus 2. Plus, copy the, 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 the numerator. The numerator is 3X minus 2. So, 3X minus 2 times the LCD ito yung ating LCD yung tatlong binomial divided by this denominator so makakancel natin yung dalawa diba? so ano ang natira? yung isang x minus 2 so yun ang ating umang multiply dito ok so this time I-perform na natin yung indicated operation. Foil method in the numerator. So, we have now x squared plus uh, so we have 10x plus 16. Okay? Once again, we have uh, x squared then 8x, 2x so 10x. Then 8 times 2 is 16. Using FOIL method. Plus, we have 3x square. So, 3x square. And then, for method outer, so negative 6x. Then, negative 2x. So, we have now negative 8x. Okay? Then, plus 4. So, all over x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay? Then, after that, per, uh, combine similar terms. So, meron tayong x square plus 3x square. So, 4x square. 10x and negative 8x, we have negative 2x. And then, 16 and 16 and 4, we have positive 20. So, all over x minus 2, dalawang x minus 2 at x plus 2. Okay? So, yun na. Medyo mahaba ang ating solution, di ba? Kasi, ang ating given ay, ang given natin ay binomial. Okay? So, factor. Ngayon, may factors ba yung ating numerator meron bang magiging factor so pwede natin yung factor daw dyan para makuha natin baka nga may makansal pa tayo after we factor it out
Okay. Now, that is uh, continue. Okay. So, ano yung factor ng ating 4x square minus 2x plus 20? The greatest common factor. So, let's say we have 2. So, 2x square minus x na lang siya plus 10. Okay? And then, x minus 2, x minus 2, and x plus 2. Okay? Ngayon, meron pa ba kaya tayong factors nito? So, meron pa kaya? I think, wala na. Hindi na ito pwedeng mapaktor. Ano? So, kaya, pwedeng hanggang dito na lang yung ating solution. Yung ating answer. Ano? Kasi, well, I think, that is not a factorable na. Okay? So, that's it. So, ano nga ulit ang dapat gawin? Kauna-unahan, kung ang given natin ay uh, uh, factorable dun sa ating denominator, so, factor out natin. Kunin ng factor sa ano. Then, after that, get the LCD and then perform how to add uh, the rational algebra expression. Para din lang tayo nag add ng rational numbers. Okay? So, let us have another example. This time, ang bibigyan ko naman example sa inyo ay subtraction. Okay? So, in subtracting na rational algebra expression, it Ini-apply din natin kung paano tayo mag-subtract ng integers. Then, in subtracting integers, so, we are going to change the sign of the subtrahend. Okay? Then, proceed to addition. Okay. Let us have an example. So, for example, we have example number 3. Let us say we have 2x over x square minus 9 minus 3 over x minus 3. Okay, so yan. Ngayon, may factors ba yung ating denominator? So, right, mayroon siyang factors. So, get the factor. So, we have 2x over x minus 3 and x plus 3. Kasi siya ay difference of 2 squares. Okay? So, to check, negative 3 times positive 3. So, we have negative 9. And negative 3 added to positive 3 is 0. So, cancel that. Kaya wala siyang middle term. Minus 3 over x minus 3. Okay? Then after that, we have now get the LCD. Okay? So the LCD is x minus 3 and x plus 3. Okay, yung ating LCD. So the LCD divided by, by this denominator, so 1 na lang siya. Cancel na, di ba? So, we have now 2x. Okay? Minus. The LCD divided by... So, minus 3 na siya. No? Diba? Copyhan lang natin yon Minus 3. Times. Or divided by by this. So, cancelled out. Ang min x minus 3. So, ano na lang natira? x plus 3. Okay? So, therefore, we have now 2x minus 3x minus 9 over x minus 3 and x plus 3. So, yun. Okay. Meron bang pwede natin bang combine similar terms dito? Very good. Meron. So, we have negative x minus 9 over x minus 3 and x plus 3. Okay, so pwede ito na yung ating mga sagot dyan. Okay?
So, madali lang, di ba? So, as you can see, dun sa ating so, subtraction, inilagay na agad natin ang timanong negative 3 dito. Minus 3. Then, distributive property. So, kaya siya naging negative 3x. Then, negative uh, 9. Okay? Then, perpendicular to the operation. So, this is now our final answer. Okay? So, that's all for our addition and subtraction of rational algebra expression. Okay, so, later on, ang i-discuss pa naman sa inyo ay how to multiply and divide rational algebra expression. Okay? So, enjoy learning!